we have another type of rape identified by Republicans. We've heard about honest rape. We've heard about legitimate rape. We've heard of gift from God rape. And now we have beautiful pregnancy rape from a Republican. A Republican lawmaker said a few days ago that women who become pregnant from sexual assault should not be exempt from anti abortion measures banning abortion because childbirth resulting from rape is beautiful. West Virginia's uh, Brian Kurseba, a Republican, said, quote, obviously rape is awful. What is beautiful is the child that could come from this. I don't think there's anything beautiful, Lewis, about a woman being raped and then being forced by a state, by legislators to have that baby. That doesn't seem beautiful to me. No, I think there is a school of thought, though, that thinks that every pregnancy is uh, or every child is just a beautiful thing and every birth is a beautiful thing and that for, that you need to protect that. And I guess this guy's in that uh, that school of thought. He certainly is pushing a bill that would ban abortion after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Republicans in West Virginia reviving the proposal. And this is similar to what Todd Aiken said, right? Or I'm sorry, no, uh, I have a confused. I have the the uh, uh, rape apologist confused. It's Richard Murdoch. Richard Murdoch saying that I think that even when life begins in that horrible situation of rape, that it is something that God intended to happen. Murdoch lost his election about a week after making that comment. And then, of course, we cannot forget Todd Aiken, who said if it's a legitimate rape. The female body has ways to tr tr uh, shut that whole thing down. So what if you have an atheist woman who was raped? It was a legitimate rape. The body doesn't shut it down. And in spite of being an atheist, the rape pregnancy is a gift from God. Quite a scenario around rape pregnancies that Republicans are concocting here. And this particular bill, I mean, I guess it's not as extreme as some of the other ones, right? They're not trying to completely ban abortion outright, although you could argue that this is uh, a stepping stone for that. Of course. I mean, if what if ultimately the compromise with Republicans who, of course, control Congress now is that abortions can only happen after 20 weeks, if that's the compromise, are we OK with that? Um, no, I, mean, before I don't 20 think so. weeks before 20. Oh, uh, but you, I, I'm not sure I know what you're saying. If if we have to agree that abortions are legal, but they can only be done uh, before 20 weeks. If that's the compromise we have to reach with Republicans, could we settle for that? No, I don't think so, because number one, it's allowing people who are not medical doctors to make decisions about people's health. Number two, it ignores the fact that almost every abortion that happens after 20 weeks is happening because of very dire and specific circumstances, which everybody would hope to avoid. As someone who is pro-choice, I would hope to avoid. I would hope to avoid every single abortion. But no, I don't think that that would be a good compromise. And I would even give some advice to Republicans if they truly are thinking about how to do outreach to women, a group that is going to be important to them continuing to win elections, particularly at the national level. Don't refer to rape as anything other than a vicious crime. Uh, that That's just my advice to Republicans. They are still completely uh, failing and dropping the ball when it comes to reaching women.